welcome to my channel today i will be discussing about the applications of different microscopes as we know there are different types of microscope and each microscopes has different or unique functions though uh, some functions are common in uh, one or uh, in two or three microscopes like uh, one particular functions can be solved by two or three microscopes but here the each microscope has each or unique functions and uh, in the mi each microscope has different resolution so if you are given any sample then you have to think which microscope is to be used to solve the structure or to solve the problem so let's start there are different parameters or theory regarding the microscope but I will not tell about those all things but here I will mention the two parameter which you should know if you are going to use any microscope and there are some confusion it seems that there are some confusion uh, between us uh, the re uh, relation between the resolving power and resolution so first of all i say that there is an inverse relation between the resolving power and resolution and i just tell what is resolving power it is clearly mentioned that it is the ability of my magnifying instrument to distinguish two objects that are close together so different microscope have different resolving power also different resolution and coming to the resolution that minimum distance between two points that allows for their discrimination as two separate points now i will be giving an example through which you can easily understand the difference and the relation between the these two uh, parameter suppose uh, there are two objects that are closely distant uh, 5 micrometer and in another set there are two objects the distance between them are 10 micrometer now you have two microscopes a microscope and b microscope now i say that a microscope can resolve the structure or resolve the distance between two objects where the distance is 0.5 or sorry my 5 micrometer but in the second case b microscope can only solve the distance or solve the uh, or can only uh, observe the objects where the distance is up to 10 micrometer now the question is in in what microscope the resolving power is good or better now you can understand that in the first cases where the a microscope has the resolving power to discriminate between the two points where the distance is 5 micrometer because it can resolve the less distance or the less resolution so a microscope is better than b microscope now you can easily understand how or why uh, it is written that uh, the resolving power is inversely related to the limit of resolution so uh, in this uh, example if uh, in this example the 5 micrometer is the resolution and the a microscope has the better resolving power because it has the ability to solve the or to uh, uh, distinguish the objects where the distance is less so less distance or less resolution means that instrument has better resolving power here are the clear images what i was mentioning before and by this and by these images you can easily understand that a microscope has the better resolving power than b microscope because it has the uh, ability it has the ability to distinguish the objects objects which have or which are distant closely different types of microscope i have no, i am not saying about the functions of those or the uh, uses of those microscopes uh, but i say that 
only about the fluorescence microscope because it has the immense uses in the research field like uh, it is very essential in microbiological field and also it's uh, it can be used in the fish technique and also the main one of the main uses is to observe the localization of specific proteins within the cells and another thing is if you want to want to use the fluorescence microscope then first of all the or the main thing is you have to stain the sample or anything with fluorocombs and that is the essential thing if you do not do that you cannot see by fluorescence microscope here we can see different images captured by different microscope and first of all and the first picture is a and a and a is captured by bright field microscope and b is captured by dark field microscope and the bristles on the surface of the fly appear dark on a white background in the bright field microscope that is in the case of a and in the case of b there is a, a white bristles or white color on a black background in a dark field images and now come to the c and d uh, part like uh, they are the uh, total or both type both images captured by the face contrast mi image microscope and here are the face contrast view of cells growing in tissue cultures and in the case of e and f uh, captured by differential interference contrast images here are two focal planes of multicellular alga volvox volvox is captured Thank you for viewing this video. If you liked the video, then please press the like button and do subscribe. There are uh, some microscopes uh, that, uh, that I have not mentioned here. I will mention about the uses of those microscopes on the uh, later video. Like uh, those microscopes are confocal microscopes and the electron microscopes, uh, what includes transmission electron microscope and surface electron microscopes these three types of microscopes have immense uses or essential uses in the research fields so i will uh, definitely will uh, discuss about those microscopes on the next video thank you